Prior to my visit here, us U.S. entrepreneurs recently celebrated a major victory at the White House where President Obama signed the Jumpstart Our Businesses Startup Act, a bill that modernizes outdated, security, outdated securities laws, allowing new avenues and platforms, new opportunities for entrepreneurs to raise capital. And I know access to capital is a critical issue everywhere. And I, just looking at that video, you know, really it was one of, the, one of the key barriers, one of the key issues that faces entrepreneurs in Greece, but also worldwide. And certainly in the United States of America, it continues to be a, a really, really tough issue. And uh, through this legislation, the, the Startup Businesses Act, what we were able to do was to take an existing model, which is crowdfunding, a, a solution, again, that was brought uh, into the space, allowing people to fund individual projects, artisans' ideas, nonprofit organ organizations, things like that. Billions have been raised already through these crowdfunding platforms. And entrepreneurs thought, well, gee, if you can do that, a donation-based model, why can't we do that uh, in the commercial marketplace? Why can't businesses raise money through similar, similar platforms called crowdfund investing platforms? Well, it was illegal. And through the JOBS Act, we were able to modernize a lot of the regulations that beginning, beginning in 2013 will allow businesses and entrepreneurs, those who don't have connections to Silicon Valley, those who don't have connections to angel investors or the venture capitalists, to actually bring their ideas on online platforms and allow ordinary investors to invest in those ideas. And we are very, very excited about this because, again, it unlocks new capital to invest uh, in promising young enterprises. Now, I bring up the success story for a couple of reasons. One, to show that despite political differences in many areas between the two political parties in Washington, that they actually came together to solve a major solution for entrepreneurs, access to capital. Also, this idea for this crowdfunding platform, crowdfund investing platform, came from the entrepreneurial community itself. It came from two entrepreneurs who had no idea what they were doing coming to Washington, but who knocked on my door and said, gee, there's 70-year-old laws that we have to change. We have to change these laws to allow for ordinary people to invest in businesses. So they, along with you know, some of our help in Washington, they found a way to get the political parties to support this important effort and to President Obama, Obama's leadership to sign the legislation. And it just goes to show you what entrepreneurs are capable of doing when they put their mind to it, not only in the commercial marketplace, but also in the policy and the political spheres as well. And it is this, this entrepreneurial mindset, one filled with positive and powerful energy, ideas, and know-how that will continue to solve many of the world's most pressing problems. Now, I have watched and observed many successful women entrepreneurs over the years, and there is this think big mindset that sets them apart from the rest, and they hold certain attributes that drive their success. And as someone that was not born with the entrepreneurial gene, if you will, I have learned a lot from these women. I have watched what they, what they have done to build successful businesses and have incorporated a lot of their practices and a lot of what they do uh, into my own uh, practices. And I'd like to share a couple of these with you. One, these successful women entrepreneurs, they always have a game plan. They plan for success. There is a strategic purpose behind their activities, their work, and their investments. But they are also very flexible so if a plan isn't working, they adapt and they change it. You have to be flexible in this very fast-changing, dynamic, global marketplace. They do their homework. They are market research animals. They watch their competitors. They follow their competitors. They have their finger on the pulse of the marketplace. They study trends and they survey their customers and their clients on an ongoing basis. They are always always looking for ways to add value. Successful women entrepreneurs, they embrace change. Entrepreneurs are disruptors, correct? They don't fear change. 
They make change. They capitalize on it. They are innovators. They understand as they don't innovate, they will be less competitive and they will stagnate. These women entrepreneurs, they believe in the power of teams. They know that their people, their human capital, is their most powerful asset. They work to hire the best and hire those who will fill gaps in their own weaknesses. They surround themselves with advisors and mentors and are not afraid to ask for help. They are excellent communicators. They know how to tell their business story. They effectively communicate their brand promise, their vision, and their goals. You don't walk away from these women confused. They know how to sell and they do it very well. They are committed to excellence and continuous improvement. These women, these women live by the credo, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. They are highly focused, they persevere, they have integrity, and last but not least, they are passionate. They love what they are doing. Again, there is this debate on whether people, they ask if, or, or they debate whether entrepreneurs are born or taught. Well, scientists have yet to develop a DNA test for the entrepreneurial gene. But I'm here to tell you that if you don't, have, you don't have to be born with entrepreneurial instincts to succeed. Many of these attributes of successful entrepreneurs can be learned. Minus the passion, of course, but if you find something that you really love doing, the passion will come naturally. It is believed that one of the big reasons why women-led businesses don't grow as big or as fast as their male counterparts is that they don't think big when they first start their businesses. And if we all think big from the start, we would naturally plan and prepare for what it takes to raise larger amounts of capital, win the bigger contracts, and drive higher revenue growth. Well, my message for you today is to encourage you to think big, to always think big, because there are opportunities waiting. There are opportunities in the marketplace for those who are searching for them. Entrepreneurship does not require perfectly functioning societies or government in order to take root and succeed. You can do it despite barriers and obstacles that get in your way. To be successful entrepreneurs, you have to think positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Identify yourself as powerful because you are. Don't underestimate yourself and keep telling yourself you are just as good or better as the guy or the gal next to you. Oprah, Winf Oprah Winfrey said, the big secret in life is that there is no big secret. Whatever your goal, you can get there if you are willing to work. If you believe, if you think big, you can achieve, you can do it. I am really looking forward to reading about all the successful entrepreneurial success stories that come uh, out of Greece in the very near future. So good luck to all of you. I look forward to meeting with you, and thank you.